Hi there, it's Stephanie, and I want to take a minute to show you how to create an Etch-a-Sketch in PowerPoint. This was inspired by a line drawing effect that Trina had done a screener on a couple days ago. When I saw the line, line drawing effect, it reminded me of, of the lines that you would create on an Etch-a-Sketch. So that's what inspired the screener. Let me play back the final result for you so you can see what this looks like. Notice a line coming in, the hands moving bottom right and left as if they're spinning the dials. And this could be used for e an e-learning course as a section break, perhaps as an introduction to getting ready for a pop quiz or a test your knowledge section. It could be getting um, used for a branching scenario. There's a number of uses for this kind of element. It could be used for a menu too. So uh, it depends on your style, your color, your theme, and your topic of how you could apply this. But it's really easy to build it in PowerPoint. So what I did was I created, um, a, I drew a rounded rectangle to create the the red unit of the Etch-a-Sketch itself, and then I just filled it with a gradient fill. So if I right click on the shape and cho choose fill, gradient fill, it's a linear fill that's a diagonal fill, and then I have three gradient stops. The first stop is at 100% and it's a deep red color. The second stop is at 50% and it's a few shades lighter red. The third stop is at 100% and it's a few shades lighter of a red again. There is no line, but I did add a shadow. So I used a preset shadow of this one here, the diagonal bottom left, and then I added a 3D format to make it look a little more realistic. So I changed the top bevel, bevel to be a circle, width 15, height 3 point, and then I changed the material to be plastic and the lighting to be a soft lighting effect. Now to create the inside of the Etch-a-Sketch, I also used a rounded rectangle. I just drew that in and then I changed the edging of this rectangle by dra dragging the yellow diamond just so it wasn't quite as extreme of an effect. Right click, format shape and then I worked with the fill. Now this is a gradient fill as well but this time it's a radial fill and I'm using the direction of from corner. There are also three gradient stops. The first stop is at 0% and it's this gray here, the darker 50% gray. And then stop number two is sitting at 50%, and the next gray I'm using is a couple shades lighter at 25%. Stop number three is at 100%, and I'm using the 15% gray. The line color, I chose a dark gray line, so it's this one here, so it's a black lighter 25%. And then I added a shadow, so I just used the preset of inner, inside, center, and I kept all the defaults as they were. Isn't that cool? So it kind of creates a screen right there. Now you could just click both of those objects, choose a range, a line to the center, and that will put the screen in the center of the Etch-a-Sketch. I then created the white dial. So I just grabbed a circle, drawing tool, held my shift key down just to create a proportional circle, right click, format shape, I filled it with a solid fill of white. Uh, the line color that I used was just a darker, darkish gray, so this one here, 50%. I added a shadow in, I used the shadow color, the same color as the line, so the 50% black, and then I played with these values a bit. So I increased the transparency to 60%, 100% um, size is fine, the blur of 4 is fine, and the angle of 315 is what I used here. Then I added a three-dimensional effect just to make it look like a, a, an actual dial. So the top bevel I chose to be this one, the inside effect of soft round. I increased the effect width of, to 20 point and the height to 10 point. I also added a bottom bevel of circle and I just kept a default of 6 point. I changed the depth color to be the white, darker 5%, depth of 6 point, and then I changed the material to be a special effect dark edge and the lighting to be the soft lighting. Click close and there's the dial. So you could rotate the dial around and that's what I did. I actually rotated the dial around a little bit just so it doesn't look the same as the other dial. It's the shadowing is a little different and you can see this dial is a little bit bigger so I can just make this a little smaller. Um, now what I would normally do here is just copy that dial to this position and then rotate it differently. I then grabbed a hand on the internet and I placed the hand on top of the dial. So I'm just going to use bring to front and then I added an animation effect. So on the left hand I just put in a spin effect of 10% clockwise fast and on the right I put in a spin effect of counterclockwise fast. And that's it. That's how you create an Etch-a-Sketch in PowerPoint.